work, people. I think you should probably tell me what I'm doing here before the other nine suffer the same fate. Oh, you expect me to believe that you actually have control over those lead feet of yours? Oh, Casey. I'm sorry. Look. Every year, the Starlight School offers a $1,500 scholarship to the high school student who best exemplifies the spirit and grace of ballroom dancing. Now, if you look around, there are about six people here who wear their teeth a bit low and go to high school with us. Which would make you want to shoe in? Well, I do have to complete at least one of the two-week courses. <sighs> Why didn't you get Dawson to do this with you? Or Jack, for that matter? Because they don't know me like you will. After I perform CPR in your math grade, so that's the trade-off. Mm -hmm. One study session for one dance class. That's the trade-off. Yeah, excellent. What did I say about ribcage's touch? And refresh my memory, who's leading here? I'm trying, but Janet Reno here doesn't exactly make it easy on a fella, you know what I'm saying? Like you even know how, Pacey. You lead. Well, let's give it the old college try, shall we? Um, don't get too close. Ow! Okay, we can shimmy it. I'll get a knife. Andy, come on, open this door, please. Andy, please. Andy, stop crying. Go away! I'm not going anywhere, Andy. Not you, Tim! Is he in there right now? Is Tim in there with you? I said go! Jack! You're not real! God! Andy! What was that? What broke? Are you all right? Let's try. Let me try this. Don't so ah. your face, Andy. Andy, open the door. <laughs> they don't believe you, Andy. They think you're crazy, but you're not. Yes, I am. I am crazy. Who said you're crazy, Andy? I don't think you're crazy, and Jack doesn't think you're crazy either, OK? Yes, you do. No, we don't. I believe you, Andy. Okay, I believe that you're seeing Tim right now and that he's there and you're talking to him. But you know what? It's not fair that Tim can see me and I can't see him, so I need you to do me a favor. I need you to tell me what he's saying. I'll take care of you. Okay? You can't trust anyone else. They don't understand. He says you don't understand. You tell Tim that he's wrong. I may not understand everything that's going on with you right now, Andy, but I understand you. Do you hear me? You tell Tim that. You have to choose, Andy. Let me take care of you. I'll make you better. I can't. I can't choose. No, Tim's right, Andy. You do. You have to choose. What are you doing? No, I don't want to. I can't. You have to, Andy. You have to choose. And I'm begging you from the bottom of my heart to please choose me. Open this door, come out here, and choose me, please. You are so special. And you give so much to everybody around you. And you know what, Andy? I need you more than Tim does. And so does Jack. That's not true. Yes, it is. My life began when I met you, Andy. And you never gave up on me, so I'm not going to give up on you. <laughs> so please, Andy. For the love of God, please come out here and choose me, please.
looking for some serving spoons. They're in the bin at the end. Well, how are you doing? Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I really am okay. What's going on in that head of yours? You're off the hook. What? You're off the hook. I've never really put much faith in all that if you love someone, set them free crap, as evidenced by everything I've done in my life up to this very moment. But I am determined to be happy, Joy. Happy in this life. And I love you. I mean, I always, I have always, always loved you. But our timing has just never been right. And the way I figure it, time is no man's friend. So I have to get right with that and be happy now. Because this is it. I mean, this is all that we get. This is one thing I've learned from losing Jen. That's what I've learned. Hey, so Actually, I... um, hold on. I'm not done that. Because I also want for you to be happy. It's really important for me that you be happy. So I want you to be with someone, whether it be Dawson or a New York guy or some man that you haven't even met yet. But I want you to be with someone who can be a part of the life that you want for yourself. I want you to be with someone who makes you feel like I feel when I'm with you. So, I guess the point to this long run on sentence that's been the last 10 years of our lives is just that the simple act of being in love with you is enough for me. So you're off the hook. You know what, for the record, I... I don't want to be let off the hook. Because everything in my life that I've done has led me here right now. And the last thing I want, need, or deserve is to be let off somebody's hook. Please don't miss my point here. I and just don't, don't miss have... mine. Macy, I love you. You know that. And it's very real. It's so real that it's kept me moving, mostly running from it, never ready for it. And, and I love Dawson. He's my soulmate. He's tied to my childhood. And it's a love that is pure and eternally innocent. I can't be let off the hook because I might just get the notion that it's okay to keep running. So then, what exactly are you saying here? Oh, Pacey, there you are. Um, we need plates. You are so sweet to open up your place like this. I love you both. Okay. Uh, I think you were... Maybe just about to say something really important. Pacey. I realize. Joey, give me a hand. Here, grab this tray. Here. How are you doing, Pacey? I'm good, Bess. I'm good, thanks. Right, did you guys see the look on Principal Green's face? Huh? At the union mural thing, I thought the guy was going to have a breakdown. Wow. That girl Joey, she totally lost it. Classic. Yeah. Look, uh, I'm running myself a little pool here. It's the true culprit. Winner takes all. You guys in? How much? It's only a buck a pop. Had to be Caulfield. Yeah, definitely. What makes you guys so sure? Because there's no other possibility. <laughs> okay. Caulfield it is. Caulfield. Do I know you? No, not really, thankfully for me. Look, rumor has it that you have this irrepressible urge to express yourself artistically. What, that thing yesterday at the mural? That was pretty classic, huh? <laughs> Too bad I can't take credit for it. So you didn't do it? I don't know. 
I mean, everyone seems to think I did. So maybe I should just do the polite thing and accept the credit and say thank you. Maybe. <laughs> but look, I'm here to tell you that not everybody thinks what you did was funny. Well, some people don't have a sense of humor. Is that your problem? Yeah, that's me. I'm humorless. Hmm. What do you want? I want you to apologize. And then I want you to turn yourself in. And I want you to do it before the day is done. And why would I do that? Because this time you just happen to mess with somebody I care about. When was it that I got designated the town loser? I mean, I know I've done some stupid things in my life, but what exactly was it that pushed me over the edge to being a walking, talking embarrassment to my perfect family? You're not an embarrassment to your family, Pacey. According to the Deputy Doug, I am. Well, at least your whole family isn't an embarrassment. I just got back from visiting my dad. How'd it go? Fathers are weird creatures, you know that? When I was eight years old, I used to play peewee baseball. We had this huge game at the end of the season, and it was two outs, bottom of the ninth, and I was up to bat, and I struck out. Anyhow, we get home, and my dad just proceeds to ream me, tell me what a loser I am and what a disgrace I am to the whole family in town for losing the game. The next morning, I go down to breakfast, and I overhear my dad relaying the events of the game to my brother. And I heard him say to him, at least I have you. <laughs> I don't know. I never told anybody this, but I wish I never heard him say that. Maybe you should have a talk with your father. You know, tell him that he hurt you. Is that what you did? Father? Father, look, I talked to the furnace guy. He said he could come by tomorrow if he didn't. Please, just... What I said last night was way out of line. And yes, I was drunk, but more to the point, I was just plain wrong. And I want you to know that I'm really sorry. Well, I was worried about you too, Basie. Me? Why? Well, because, I mean, Satan himself could lead Dawson into the fiery pits of hell, and he would still emerge with his moral code firmly intact. But you... Maybe I think that nobody's worrying about you right now. So oh, then... What you're really saying, then, is that given the highly dysfunctional nature of our relationship, this is actually how you express concern for me. You gotta learn to read between the banter, Pacey. Right. So... So are we all finished here? No. Actually, um, there's something else. Something else? Yeah. It's, it's just something I've been meaning to tell you. Uh, look, uh, Joey. You're lingering on your clutch, okay? I know you think you're just easing into the gear, but it's not a good idea. You know, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon you're gonna do a lot of damage to your transmission. So what I was thinking is that if you wanted to, I could show you. Now? 
Mr. Milo, he's worried about you. He told me you've blown two of your finals. I got it under control, okay? Pacey, he said you didn't write word one on either exam. That true? What were you thinking? I was thinking that it doesn't really matter, okay? The hell it doesn't. You get your things, you're coming home. No. I don't want you hanging out here, Pacey. Mr. Potter's a known felon. It doesn't make me look good. Is that what this is about? Get your stuff. I said no! I said get your stuff! Hands off me. Oh. Oh. I'll be in the car. Of course I remember. This is where we first danced. And where we had our first kiss. <laughs> I remember my knees were shaking like crazy. Uh, I know. My heart, it was like boom, 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 boom. I was deliriously happy. And I died and went to heaven that day. And that was a long, long time ago. Seems like yesterday. <laughs> Who was I back then? Slacker. That's what you thought, isn't it? You thought I was a lazy brat. And you thought I was a spoiled princess. Man, you didn't let me get away with anything back then. <laughs> yeah, and your favorite pastime was making me miserable. Oh, uh, boy, I hated you. No, I hated you more. Oh, Andy, I don't really think that's possible. It's been a wild ride. It's only just begun. May I have the pleasure of this dance, Miss McPhee? Yes, Mr. Ritter, you may. <laughs> Okay. No goodbyes. Okay. No goodbyes. 